here we are 2019 new year new beginnings fresh start it seems to me that a lot of people are claiming to be the best and that's fine you know they, they can have their little time in the sun and they could you know be on that mountaintop so on and so forth but the fact is <laughs> yeah come down sometime gotta come back down to reality and the, and the, and the funny part is you, you, you know you, you're the best only because of who you perform with who, who you share that ring with you know you as an individual as a competitor only put yourself first but you have to come to the realization that not only are you the best when you go in there, but you have to make sure your opponent is just as good as you. Which brings me to 2019. My bloody Valentine. I have an opportunity to go on in the penitentiary match and be a two-time DBW world champion. And my opponent is Caleb Cross. Now, I could go on and on and on about Caleb Cross and, you know, this and this and that and that. But you know what? It's not even worth my time. It's not even worth my time. Plain and simple, what's going to happen is Caleb Cross, my bloody valentine, going to be the same result as it has been ever since you arrived in a DBW it's going to be the same result and that is you lying on your back for the three count and me victorious and moving on and becoming one step closer to become a two time DBW world champion you see Mr. Judgment yeah and I'm calling upon you now buddy just because you are the first two-time DBW champion doesn't mean you're untouchable. Because I can merely, merely, simply come and dominate you. And take that title like I did. Like I did before. I claimed it once before and I'll claim it again at Total Domination when I qualify for the penitentiary match. You know... I entered DBW in 2016, took DBW by storm in 2017 and 2018, and ladies and gentlemen, 2019 ain't going to be any different than the past three years. You see, every competitor sits there, flaps their gums, oh, I'm the best and I'm going to be number one and I'm going to be on the top and I'm going to be number one contender champ and all this and all that. and. That's fine. That's fine. Because, gentlemen, little do you know, the it factor flies under the radar. And where every single one of you sits there and want to say, you're the best, and you're this, and you're that, just remember, I'm listening. And you know what? Let's touch upon something right now. Damon Scar. Yes, Damon Scar. You know what, Damon? I was actually giving you credit where credit is due. I was actually giving you credit at the fact that you are a very, very competitive anarchy champion. Yeah, you're a very competitive anarchy champion. And you know what? For you to sit there and say you're the best, you might be. But you know, you're only... <laughs> one thing you, you, you forget to realize, Damon, is you're only best with your supporting cast. And let me tell you, your supporting cast hasn't been always that great. But you know what, Damon? Let me give you credit where credit is due. And you're a fighting anarchy champion. And I hope you keep that anarchy championship for a while. Because I'm not going after you. And it's not because, you know, I don't want the anarchy title. Because, you know, at one point I will want the anarchy title. It's just the stars ain't aligned yet. The stars ain't aligned. But come my bloody Valentine. The stars will align 
I will qualify for the penitentiary match and go on to total domination four and become a two-time DBW world champion. So, ladies and gentlemen, this year will just be another year that the if factor dominates.